Hey YouTube, today um, it's been raining and nasty outside. I thought I would do a different kind of project and work on my car a little bit. I have a um, speaker box in the trunk and I want to install, it's a sealed box and I'm going to install these ports, I have two of these into the box and uh, let's see if we can't get like a before and after of how well uh, these increase the sound output. The box is four six and a half inch subs. Um, I wanted that so I could still have a lot of uh, trunk space and still move a lot of air so that's what it does. And these are flared um, inside and out so I have to cut this down and the the port calculator says uh, eight and a half inches from flare to flare for to be tuned for 34 Hertz with 34 Hertz with two of these so I have to take whatever that number is it's eight and a half inches and subtract five inches from it and then cut that out of this okay so here's a trick um, to figure out if the speaker is wired in phase with the rest of them. Hang on. So I have a 9 volt battery. This is the positive side of the battery. I'm just going to touch it to the terminals and see which way the cone moves. So when I touch it, the cone's moving out, right? So if I do it here, those are all moving out. Okay, so we're good. Everything is wired in phase. That just means that they're all wired identically. So it, if one was wired out of phase and I did that one of these would pull in while the others were pulling out and that would cancel out the uh, you know the back wave so they're all wired identically so that's good that's the first step so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of them out and get ready to start doing the portholes okay now that I got the speakers out um, I went ahead and cut these I'll actually add a cut in half so I could use you know both halves of it and then this right there this there so that will give us a little under eight and a quarter that's supposed to be pretty close to a 34 hertz tune so uh, before I glue this together though, I'm going to see if I have enough space in the box to go where I want it to go. And if I don't, then uh, we might have to tune it higher, I mean cut some more off, or see if we can find another place to mount it. So let's do that. Okay, so here I am back at the car. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's not a lot of room. But it does look like it'll fit. And then give us probably close to two inches at the back, which is perfect actually. You know, Nine quarters, almost exactly two inches. So this will fit perfectly right there, and the other one right here. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue these together because this is the size they're going to be, and then I have to mark where they're going to go. Actually, before I glue them together, I should probably draw out that circle 
so I don't get you know too close to that or too close to the other one. So and I gotta come down. And that's probably where it's gonna be right there. So I'm gonna go get a sharpie, draw out that circle. And then put the template right smack in the middle of that circle so I can then cut the hole. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, now the holes are finally drilled in the box. That was uh, not a pleasant experience. There's, I do recommend getting the real, you know, round. This, I just didn't have one in four inch size. So um, get one of these if you're planning on doing this. Uh, the kind that I got. One, it's kind of a one-time use. Now it's not usable anymore. And then, um, anyway, we can move on. So now these fit. Um, so I'm going to glue them together now. Now that they are cut to size and uh, have been test fitted, I have room in the box and the holes fit. Okay, I got all the speakers in. Um, these are good and glued together now. So now I have my glue gun warming up. I also drilled some holes on this so that when they go in, this one doesn't actually sit flush. I'll just feel a little bit better if there's screws in it as well. So it's kind of well. We'll see how it works. I'll glue it first, and if it doesn't seem like it's sealing, because this is at an edge, the screw might not bite really well right there. So we'll see how it goes. Um, they're all soldered in. They're all. I tested them so that they're all wired in phase like they're supposed to so now it's just a matter of you can't really see putting in these ports um wait for my camera died so i'm using a fluorescent there that's pretty good okay let's do it so let's see if this is got some oh, that's not warmed up yet Yeah, not warmed up yet. I'm high. Let that warm up. We'll get back at it. All right. Here it is. 
Let me get some light in there. for the camera so you're just sitting on a tripod but um, should be pointed at my stereo so we'll see how it works um, I don't want to uh, bother my neighbors too much so I'm gonna go for a ride to the little store and just park right there for a minute. I need to get an internal mount for this camera. It's a little dark, but I think you can see it. So. sounds like in the camera but let me tell you what that's loud that's uh nobody would believe me if i told them those were only six and a half inch subs i hardly believe it myself that is really loud so i'm happy all right y'all um that's it that's my video um putting uh making my speaker box in my car better um, my next project uh, for my car is probably going to be something to do with the rear differential um, I've got gears for it so we'll see where that goes uh, and I got a few projects of stuff uh, that I'm making out of acrylic and wood um, so that'll be coming up in the next few videos okay um, Thanks for tuning in. If y'all watched the whole thing, I'm impressed. Uh, thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time.